people of Earth. It's me, King Human. Guys, listen up. This is good advice, really. This is what happened to me today. I get a spam email from some company claiming to be a Canadian pharmacy. And they're touting their crap, you know, saying, Hey, come buy your drugs from us because we can sell it to you a lot cheaper. You know, it's Canada. We can sell it cheaper. We got less regulations. Anyway, uh, I decided to, to click on the thing and check them out just because I'm bored and I'm tired of working on my computer doing what I'm doing. So I go check them out. And the website looks great. It's a great looking website. And I mean, they got the shit. They got Viagra. They got everything. Everything you could want. All these expensive drugs. And they're cheap. And uh, you can get them. All you need is a credit card. So I decided to look them up at who is. Now, if you've never done this, I urge you to do this every time you decide to buy something from a website that you're not sure about. You know, Amazon, you know that's a good one. But if you go to a website that you've never been on before, look up their domain name at whois.com and find out who owns that website before you give them your credit card information. Because here's what the deal was with that Canadian drugstore. It's owned by a guy in China. Xinhao China, whatever the f I don't even know. Which means these drugs are being made in this guy's garage. They're all counterfeit. They're all counterfeit. It's bogus. And I've seen documentaries on these Chinese knockoff drugs, these counterfeit drugs. They're using sawdust. They're using garbage. I mean, it, they don't care what they put in this stuff. And I mean, it looks the shit. You cannot tell it from the real thing. It's got the serial numbers. It's got the perfect packaging, everything. But Chinese are the perfect counterfeiters. These guys know how to counterfeit everything. And here they are selling you, you don't even know what you're putting in your mouth when you buy that stuff. But, you know, more than just don't buy drugs online, look up, uh, use the Whois tool. Go to whois.com and find out who owns the website that you're about to do business with before you do business with them. Whois.com. Type in the URL, the, the domain name, I should say, of that website and hit the Whois lookup and find out who owns that website. If it's a regular corporation, if it looks legit, cool. If it's owned by any Russian or Chinese, run like a scalded dog. Those guys are bad mojo, okay? Don't even think about it. And just because a website looks professional doesn't mean it's legitimate. Uh, and now... On to the second part of this thing, which is drugs and online drugs and all that. Even the, even what looks legitimate, I mean, le these drugs crack me up. Every night, I see these advertisements for, you know, they got this smiling guy, and they got these guys advertised, I forget, there's basically two of them. And they're both advertising this pill that if a man takes it, it's going to make a schlong big. Not hard. I'm not talking about Viagra. I'm talking about, oh, my schlong's going to get huge if I just take this pill. And, uh, oh my god, what a crock of crap that is. Guys, I hate to burst your bubble, but there's no pill that you can take that's gonna make your schlong big. You know, you just can't take a pill and have it create tissue where there wasn't any tissue before. I unless it's a tumor. And trust me, you don't want a tumor on your schlong. If that pill worked, if that pill worked and you can take a pill and your schlong would get big, I would be the first guy to have an overdose. And, and trust me, if that pill worked, there would be a run on wheelbarrows at Home Depot because every guy would need a wheelbarrow to, to carry their schlong around. Either that or they'd have it schlung over their shoulder, you know? I mean, it just doesn't happen. So I hate to burst your bubble on that, guys. And I'm surprised they keep selling this thing. These guys are making gazillions of dollars selling this false hope to guys like me. And it sucks. I remember years ago, they used to sell breast cream to women. You know, and they'd say, oh, buy this cream and smear it on your cans and your cans will get huge. And you know, that was a popular seller for a long time and then it died out. Why? Because women got wise. They're smarter than we are. We're holding on to the false promise that, hey, you can turn this into this by just taking a little pill. We're idiots! People, men, let go. It ain't gonna happen, okay? Just let go. Uh, what else do I want to say? Oh, hey, 
un unadvertised giveaway. I'm going to give away these glasses. Hopefully, I'll give away these, these glasses, my alien glasses. You like them? Hey, here's how you can get them. Go out to the dollar store, whatever, buy a bunch of toys, and donate them to the hospital. And they'll give them to kids in the critical wards, in the burn wards, whatever. There, there are kids in the hospital that could use a pick-me-up. You go out and buy a whole bunch of little teddy bears. It might cost you 20 bucks. And you go and donate it to the hospital. The other thing you can do is you can find a cop, get some toys, find a cop, and give it to him and for the back of his cruiser. Because these guys, they go on domestic calls. And, you know, here you've got dad beating the crap out of mom. And these guys got to go and straighten it out. And they they got mom and dad over in the corner and they're trying to, you know, straighten things out. In the meantime, this poor little kid that lives in the house is a real victim of all this. And, you know, the cops got the kid, and they're trying to isolate the kid from the violence. They can take that toy out of their out of their uh, trunk, give it to the kid, and, you know, it's, you know, a lot of cops are starting to do that now, where they keep toys in the back of their cruisers, just for domestic violence cases like this, when you got a little kid. So there you go. And to win these glasses, you're going to have to prove to me that you actually did it. So... Do a video, attach it to this video, and it could be still pictures. If you don't have a video camera, everybody's got a still camera. Just take crappy snapshots of you holding a bag of toys in front of a hospital or in front of a police cruiser, whatever. I'll pick a winner, send them to you free. Okay, that's all I got. I'm going to go watch Drinky Crow now. It's the Drinky Crow Show, Drinky Crow.